Hello everyone, Lawrence here with my first custom keyboard. I bought this KPD67 Lite Revision 2 Hotswap Bluetooth board a couple of weeks ago and it finally arrived. I tried to do a day one review but failed miserably, so here are my thoughts after a few days of use. First off, I really like the packaging. The board comes in a super soft but sturdy carrying case filled with all the parts you'll need. You get the bottom and top parts of the board, a PCB, a foam dampener and a silicone pad along with your stabilizers. Do you know what you don't get? A manual. I think of this as a beginner custom board, given how this is a very fast expanding niche, there will be many new faces who get this rather affordable keyboard as their first custom keyboard. Perhaps it should at least come with like a QR code or a link to a manual on a website somewhere. So basically how this keyboard works is the PCB and the switch blade sandwich a silicone pad which has little bits sticking out for the case to then clamp onto. This gives you something like a gasket mount. Building the board was fairly easy, everything went together well without any manufacturing defects slowing me down. There was no lube included so I used some general purpose lithium grease and brushed it on my stab. My build uses the Kale Box Royal switches. Now I personally love clickies but my coworkers hate them so I wanted to get that clicky feel without getting fired. I hoped the gasket mount would take away the edge off of the box royals and most heavy box switches in general. However I found that I was getting more flex coming from these tiny little feet pressing into my mouse pad than the actual gasket mount. So here's me pressing on this keyboard on a scale so you get an idea of just how much force you need to put on it to compress the gasket a little bit. So with that feature basically useless, let's have a look at the other features. Unlike the wired version, there's no VIA support here, but you can still use TMK firmware. Or you can change the key mapping using a website which generates a file for you to then load onto your keyboard after restarting it a few times. You can do all sorts of custom commands to different layers, but honestly, I find that to just be too much work. So I just use Windows Power Toys to remap a few buttons instead, because I switch keyboards way more often than I switch computers with a single keyboard. But I can definitely see the onboard programming being useful for those who use this keyboard as their only keyboard that they take to work or at home or whatever. Moving on to the typing field then, as I said it's not the softest out there, but the feel is very uniform across the board, so I guess that's something that it's got going for it. The included PCB screw in steps needed a lot of loop, but other than my spacebar they sound pretty okay. Just like with the feel of the board, the sound will also depend a lot on which switches and keycaps you're using and even what mouse pad you have it on. So here's me doing a quick typing test with Box Royals and GMK9s. So overall then, this board is pretty good value for money and a great custom board for many people. The price is right, you get the case and it's got all the fancy features, but you will need to do a little digging to find the right documentation. I'm sure there will be heaps of build videos with this board here on YouTube, so just watch along while building your own. Anyway guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this video. I also finally made a Discord, so if you have very large or difficult questions and you want more interaction, check out that Discord in the link in the description down below. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!